going on, Dragon Ball fans? We have some really cool information coming in. It pertains to Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 31, courtesy of V Jump Magazine, translated by Herms98 on Twitter. It pertains to the upcoming recruitment process before the Tournament of Power begins, and which involves Goku, Android 17, and a few other characters that may catch you by surprise. As to the overall process, as to how the recruitment session is done, and again, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button alongside enabling all notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel in connection to news information updates and spoilers hashtag dragon ball squad as earlier on today we revealed a new potential character coming in the world of dragon ball super in the form of the television anime which basically at this point is a mystery because we don't know who this character is so if you guys have not checked that video out be sure to go on ahead head over there and check that video out i will leave a link to that down in the description box alongside the official confirmation of Goku, Black, Beerus, and Hid in Dragon Ball Fighters. But interestingly enough, we have some brand new information having to be revealed for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super manga. And as you guys can see on screen, we have some very interesting developments involving Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Android 17, unlike how we saw in the anime. And it looks like based as to what is happening here, it looks like instead of seeing Super Saiyan Blue Goku engage against Android 17, we have Android 17 and Goku having to engage while Goku is under Super Saiyan 3. Three, and as quoted by Herms, the translations go as follows while Goku says, Wait, 17, it's me, Goku, while 17 replies by saying, I've heard that voice before, with Goku having to reply by saying, Oh, you know my voice. While it's a mystery as to how 17 knows Goku's voice, considering the fact that 17 has never seen Goku physically before, we can only make the assumption that he knows this based off of the previous events that we've seen during the Majin Buu saga. But regardless, as we go into the next scan here, 17 explains that he can see and hear Goku while he was inside of Cell. Information that was never provided to us previously in the fact that 17 confirms that the reason why he's able to recognize Goku and understand Goku's voice is because while he was inside of Cell, we understand that both Android 17 and Android 18 were able to pick up Goku's voice and his image while they were inside of Cell's body. So that's very interesting considering what we already know. Also on the fact that people are wondering as to why Perfect Cell is specifically on the cover of the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 31 edition, well, it's actually a recap having to go back and revisiting the events of the Cell Saga as Mr. Satan confirms that Cell didn't really count on Earth having a superhero like him and pretty much telling the story of how he was the one to defeat Perfect Cell during the Cell games, which is it's pretty interesting considering the fact that they also want to try to recruit Majin Buu and Majin Buu thus far in the scans has not been shown but we understand unlike any other we have recaps of Hercule having to throw down with Perfect Cell and to everyone's surprise get the upper hand on him however we also get to see how upon Goku's arrival in meeting 17, 17's about to attack a bunch of poachers and if you guys remember the headpiece that Goten and Trunks were wearing during the opening acts of the Majin Buu saga when we had the first tournament arrive with Goten and Trunks having to be a part of it, Goku wears that in the form of trying to disguise himself while 17 handles business and again, once this manga chapter fully is released in English, I will be reviewing this on the channel, so make sure you guys punch that subscribe button and tune back onto the channel for that. But what's interesting enough, again, is seeing how Goku is talking to Android 18 and trying to also recruit Krillin, and just like the anime, Goku lies about the tournament contestants and getting 10 million zenny apiece, and 18 has talked with 17 on the phone about his new job, but doesn't know exactly where he is, and hence Goku having to go out and find him. So, Goku once again is lying to Android 18 about the money, which isn't that big of a deal considering the fact that it's a little white lie just to get her to join. So we have a conversation between 18, Krillin, and Goku as we transition with Piccolo having to be confronted by Goku next as the chapter ends with Piccolo asking Goku for lots of sensu beans, but not for the tournament because they're banned anyway, but to help beat Gohan back into shape. So Piccolo confirms that he needs sensu beans from Goku in order to push Gohan. So assumingly enough, we're going to see Gohan in action and having to train with Piccolo in Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 32, which will be debuting next month. So make sure you guys come back for that as well, because it's interesting how Piccolo is talking to Goku, and assumingly enough, everyone says yes, but also towards the end of the chapter, we also get to see how there is a variation where Satan immediately discovers Boo is asleep and goes off to tell everyone that Boo cannot join.
join, which then Vegeta says that now they have no other choice but to use Gohan, in which of course they go off and get him, because a lot of people were wondering about Gohan during the Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 30 edition, and the fact that people were wondering as to what exactly is happening, so it's funny how we get to see Whis and Beerus pretty much on the shoulders of Kai and trying to figure out what's happening here, so this pretty much alludes that Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter number 32 is going to reveal Gohan and potentially Frieza at the end and having to be the final recruitment members for the Tournament of Power. So post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall thoughts on seeing Super Saiyan 3 Goku? We don't really know if he's going to fight 17, but we do see 17 holding this very large blast above his head. We also get to see how Hercule is telling a different story about him defeating Cell. And then the confrontation comes with Boo having to fall asleep. We understand that Piccolo wants to beat Gohan back into shape. And of course, we understand based on what's happening that Goku is lying to 18 with the money factor and trying to get her to join. So post your comments down below. Hello guys, what are your overall expectations for this manga chapter? I will be reviewing that on the channel later on this week, so make sure you guys come back. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are stoked, ready, and hyped, be sure to go on ahead and slap a like down below. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section, guys. Have a great day. Peace.